Well, okay, everybody, here we go. Let's talk. Really, this was a great day for the market. I am not kidding. I am freaking not kidding, despite the fact that, well, the major indices took a hit today. But I can pretty much say with, let's say, a near certainty that what we witnessed here in the market, well, <laughs> you just wait to see what comes out of this. Let's talk, people. Um, so, yes, this is my post-market wrap-up on this Wednesday, January 5th, 2022. Stocks pretty much got walloped, especially the NASDAQ. Why especially the NASDAQ, people? If you subscribe to my free newsletter or if you pay attention to this video blog, you realize, and I've talked about this many times, the tech sector is very, very interest rate sensitive. When rates climb like they've been doing over the last several days, pricing in a Fed rate hike, well, the market's doing exactly what you would expect it to do. I'm talking about the tech sector. Uh, it would fall under some pressure. But in my view, in my view, this presents an insane opportunity. Not yet. Not yet. Let me also say this. So today, the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell about 390 points. The S&P 500 fell about 92 points, uh, and the NASDAQ fell over 500. Again, I explained to you why. This is a rate-sensitive sector, which presents enormous opportunity for you and me. Now, also, let's, let's rewind the uh, clock a little bit. So we found out earlier today that we got this fantastic jobs number. It was way better than expected, actually, by like two times. And, you know, you got the talking heads here playing their usual narrative. Well, we don't understand this. You mean our economy is so strong. We're adding all these jobs. What's happening with the market? Well, first of all, the market is overvalued by like uh, exponents. And I am not kidding. But it's not going to stop. What drove the market lower today was two things. Number I don't even know what number this is. Let's just say number one is this new COVID Variant, IHU, look it up. Uh, it's supposed to be more contagious than moronic or Omicron, and it's vax resistant. So the market doesn't like to hear that. It's kind of interesting, too, if you notice the mainstream narrative today. They're talking about how moronic seems to be peaking, and we should expect a drop in new cases. Then all of a sudden, you think this is just coincidence. We get a brand new variant um, no, it's no coincidence. And again, what they're going to tell you, the mainstream is they didn't see this one coming either. Again, Omicron, moronic. Remember how they played that one up? This is a quote. Nobody saw Omicron coming. You did. I did. I announced it right here on this blog before it happened. And I told you this, a new one was going to be introduced. Notice my words here uh, or word here. And yes, so we got this new variant. Market doesn't like to hear about a new variant. Well, we got it. No surprise to anyone who follows this blog. And then also we got Fed Minutes today. What did the Fed Minutes say that rattled the market? Well, first of all, you're not that stupid. I know that if you follow this blog. What the Fed says and what they do are completely different things. So... The Federal Reserve, actually, I wrote this down. So I want to, these are quotes. I want to write down a couple, I wrote down some quotes here. So I want you to hear that. Here's a quote. Are you ready? The Fed is now ready to combat rising inflation. They're ready now. You see, they had a 2% target on their inflation rate. Now we're at 7, but they're ready now. Do you believe that? Do you believe for a, a nanosecond that the Fed is actually now they're ready, they're going to do something about it. How about no? After you pick yourself off the floor laughing and rolling over, uh, come back to the video blog. No, the, the Fed has no intention of doing this. All they want to do, as a matter of fact, is continue to inflate. So yeah, now they're ready and they are prepared, quote, they are now prepared to tighten monetary policy. So the market doesn't like to hear this. Even though it's not going to happen, it's all bullshit, dog shit, catch it and bird shit all wrapped into one. Now, the other hit 
to the market also came from the Fed. And this is them talking about reducing the size of their astronomical balance sheet. People want you to think about what I'm going to tell you right now. Square yourself up in your seat and get comfortable. The balance sheet of the Federal Reserve, the amount of debt they are current, they have currently issued, that is, anyone can look at it. Just go to the Federal Reserve's website and you can see their balance sheet, like $9 trillion, is higher than the GDP of most countries on the planet Earth. Okay, so the Federal Reserve, let's just sum this up real quick. They're now ready. They are now ready to combat inflation. They are prepared or they're yeah, they're prepared now to tighten monetary policy. And yes, they're even going to start shrinking their balance sheet. How about none of this is going to happen in any meaningful way whatsoever? There was no taper. Okay, we all know that, period, period the end. Big lie. With regard to a meaningful rate hike, ain't happening. There will be a rate hike, but it's going to be the most infinitesimal fraction of nothing uh, so what's that going to do? That's going to drive the stock market higher. And with regard to the Federal Reserve actually reducing its balance sheet, how about it ain't going to happen? There is no way, shape, or form. I mean, let's think about this. So the Fed is holding all this debt, and the coupon on these, on these units of debt are paying nothing, actually negative, with regard to the actual rate of inflation. I mean, it's absurd. So who, who would buy that? Who would buy that in their right mind? So the Federal Reserve wants you to believe that they're going to unload their balance sheet, they're going to reduce their balance sheet by selling the debt that they're holding with a coupon, that's how, they, how it works, that is paying exponentially less than the current rate of inflation? Let me, let me let you in on a big secret here. Uh, how about no one's going to buy it? So this is another lie. The Federal Reserve is going to have to hold the debt it has until expiration, whenever that may freaking be. All right, so it's all bullshit. Anyway, so we got a new variant. Really? A new one? I'm so surprised. IHU. What do you think IHU stands for? I will look at and read the comments. I have no idea what it means. But again, this new thing, it's coming, out, it's coming out now. Just the timing of this is very suspicious to Greg Manorino. Okay, we got, again, moronic. It's going away. It's peaking. Introduce IHU, which is worse, more contagious, and it is vax resistant. Imagine, you can't even imagine how surprised I am. Even though I told you this is exactly what we were going to see. I told you all that you were going to see worse variants that were vax resistant. I told you this weeks and weeks ago. Well, guess what? Here it is in your face. Welcome to it, people. This is the way it's going to go. I told you all as a part of my top five trends for 22 more control, and this is exactly how they're going to do it. They will not let this end. All right, it's not. We are in a perpetual world of of of, of dog shit uh, and propaganda and lies and more freaking. Uh, I can't even say the word. You know, C O V I D. Uh, it's just not going to stop. This is what they're going to do to keep control. And uh, even though they're saying this current, the current thing, this IHU is vax resistant. They're also saying, go out and get your vax. Explain to me how that works. People, you can't make this shit up. It's impossible to do. It's really impossible. No one can do it. Anyway, let's go back to the market real quick. So again, fabulous, freaking great news today. Oh, oh yeah, this great blowout jobs number. We added 807,000 jobs last month to lie. That's number one. Uh, we have manufacturing cratering, factory activity cratering. We have money velocity at historic lows. Our economy is dead. And as a percentage of GDP, nobody knows this better than you do. Our economy is shrinking, not just here in the United States, globally. Okay, but the, you, you see, the propaganda ministry must regurgitate the lies that they're told to feed you, okay? Uh... You're called a consumer for a reason, okay? You got to consume the bullshit, okay? I don't know how many of you are buying the bullshit. I don't think too many of you that follow this blog, but it's all crap, upside down, backwards, and freaking sideways. Uh, on top of the market falling under pressure today because of the new variant, because of announcements of, by the Fed, which I just covered, 
Uh, yeah, the market fell under pressure. Is this the beginning of a real correction? I mean, the Nasdaq fell over three percent today. The Dow and S and P about over one percent. Uh, this market needs to fall. Okay, we have not had a real correction, people, in a very, very long time. Corrections are normal. Okay, markets don't always just go straight up and they don't just fall by two, three, four, five percent. No, they don't. That's not normal. They generally have episodes or times where they fall 10, 15, even 20 percent. This is normal. Normal, but we don't get that anymore. It doesn't happen. We'll see how this, me personally, I think the market is going to rebound in a big way moving forward here. The market's going to realize as I do and you do, that what came, out, what came out of the mouth of the Fed today is, it's more like, could you imagine the Federal Reserve is lying yet again with transitory 2% target on inflation, now they're at 7 transitory inflation, total lie from the get-go. You knew it was a total lie from the get-go because I told you from day one it was a lie from the freaking get-go. And now they want you to believe that the Fed is actually, what did they say, quote, they're now ready, they're now ready to combat inflation and they are prepared to tighten monetary policy. Really? Now they're prepared to do it and they're actually going to unload their balance sheet. Again, think about what I just told you. The Fed is holding debt that's yielding way less than the actual rate of inflation. What imbecile, moron, retard would buy that in this kind of an, an environment? It's not going to happen. The Fed's going to have to hold all of its debt until whenever it expires. All right. No one's going to buy it. So that's a lie, and but they're trying to fist feed that to you. It ain't happening, people. You see, look, you understand this market better than anybody. When you hear shit like that, you laugh. I know you do. When you see the market sell off today, what do you do, number one? You look at the MMRI. I know all of you are doing that. If you are not looking at the MMRI at least once a day, well, then I guess don't listen to Greg Manorino. Okay, try doing the opposite of what I say and see how that works out for you. Uh, it will not work, okay? So again, in the description of this video is a link to the MMRI. Save it to your computer. Open the window right now, okay? Click on that link to the MMRI. Save it to your computer, and once a day, at least once a day, look at the MMRI. We are now at 101.8, so we are in the yellow zone, or moderate risk. Um, okay. This, this doesn't rattle me, and it shouldn't rattle you, because you do realize that the, the debt is going to continue to surge, and everything the Federal Reserve said today, the polar opposite is true. The polar opposite is what's going to happen, although, again, I do expect the Fed to introduce some type of a meaningless bullshit, dog shit, cat shit, bird shit uh, rate hike moving forward, and the market's going to love it. The market is going to rally. Mark my words. Remember I said this, mark this video down today, January 5th, 2022. When the Fed hikes rates, you're going to see this market rally in a big way, okay? Um, let's see if I, if I get that one right. How many of you want to bet against me? You want to bet against me? Good. Let's see how that works out for you. Anyway, people, look, you and I, we nailed this to the wall. We got crude oil now, almost $78 a barrel WTI. We got debt surging. We got an economy in collapse. And the market right now, what happened is this, this drop in the market today, my lions out here know exactly what I am talking about. What we would love to see is this market actually correct. That would give all of us an opportunity to buy more of this market as long as the, the dynamics or the drivers of the market remain the same. As long as we realize that easy money is going to continue. The more that I hear the Federal Reserve say they're going to do one thing, I believe, and I know you do too, they will actually be doing the polar opposite. People, the Fed is public enemy number one. They, they are the largest criminal and most powerful criminal organization the world has ever known, the world has ever seen. It's run by insane individuals who have a goal to own the world, to own it all. They, they're buying everything with their own product, which is debt that they create out of thin air. They have... We, okay, have allowed this institution to become this powerful by surrendering our, the entire global financial system to private organizations. Who came up with that? Not the founders of this country. They believed in free thought, free action, free movement. They were against a tyrannical regime like the Federal Reserve. 
They wanted a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. We got screwed in a royal way somewhere along the line. And without a freaking revolution, people, they're going to keep throwing more dog shit things at us. You think this new variant, IHU, you think it's the last one coming down the pike? <laughs> if you do, you have no clue as to what's going on. More variants, more control, more vaccines, more illness, sickness, and then death is coming. Oh, and it's not going to be in the hands of any virus or any other thing. It's at the hands of those that are in control, that want to rule every part of your life. People, we're losing. We're losing in a big way. And I can't possibly see a way out, literally, without a freaking revolution. It's a terrible thing. It really, really is. All right, look, this video, honestly, has been very important. Very, very important. I explained a lot of things to you here. I sincerely hope you get this out there because Greg Manorino counts on you, all of you, to get my work out there. If you see Greg Manorino or someone claiming to be me on a single social network, it's not me. It's a fake. There are people faking to be Greg Manorino so they can earn a few dollars. Okay, so be very careful. That's the, one of the other reasons why I am only here. This is the only place you're going to find me, people, here on, on uh, my website, traderschoice.net, link where the MMRI is, which I know you're going to watch every day at least once. Save it to your computer and follow the MMRI. It's the ultimate indicator for market risk, period, the end. There's nothing better. I'm telling you right here and right now. Go ahead. Search the entire internet and try to find something like it. You won't. Okay, it won't happen. And I'm trying so freaking hard to help all of you to keep you on the right side of this absolute freak show. And it got even more freakier today. And it's getting even more freakier tomorrow. It just doesn't stop. All right, people, I'm out of here. Um, get my, look, my blood pressure's boiling. I'm starting to freaking sweat again. <laughs> One day, I'm going to have a freaking heart attack right here in front of all of you. <laughs> I'm actually not looking forward to that day. But I do love all of you. I will calm down. And again, I need you. I need you to get this work out there. I'll see you later. I'll see you tomorrow morning. I am sorry. Ponder these things, okay? What I talked about here. I want to hear from you people. I promise you, when I tell you that I'm going to read the comments, I read the freaking comments, all right? I might not write back to all of you. It's very hard for me to do that. I can't even keep up with my freaking email box. But I will read the comments. So you can rest assured that Greg Manorino is reading what you have to say. I want to hear from you. Make a comment here, please. I'll read it. I'll try to comment back. Get this stuff out there, people. I'm counting on you. Love you a lot. See you in the morning.